everyone, it's Andrea from Movers and Bakers. Today I'm going to share with you some beautiful pumpkin spiced autumnal cookies. They are so warming and beautiful. Let's get baking. Okay, so to start with, I'm going to do my usual cookie technique of butter and sugar in my bowl. So before I put my sugar in with my butter, I'm just going to soften my butter up very quickly with my beaters just to make sure that everything mixes together really well. So it's just a very quick 10 second whip around just to soften my butter enough. And now I'm going to add my sugars in. I have 100 grams of dark brown soft sugar. I'm using dark today rather than my light brown just because I think that gives it a really, um, a really de deep flavor by comparison to the light brown sugar. There we go. And I'm also adding some white caster sugar as well. And we'll give that a bit of a mix. Now what you will actually find if you use brown sugar when you mix it with butter is it doesn't fluff up in the same way that white sugar does because of the molasses in brown sugar. So anytime you use brown sugar when you make cookies or anything like that, you'll actually find that it won't be as fluffy as if you just used white sugar and butter together. There we go, I'm happy with that. Now normally at this stage for my cookies I will put an egg in, but because I'm making these as eggless, as no eggs, I am going to use a substitute. In this case, because I'm making pumpkin spice cookies, I'm going to use some pumpkin puree. Now you can get this, you can, you can make your own pumpkin puree, you can also buy it tinned. I'm using tinned pumpkin puree today, just because it was much easier than getting the pumpkin puree and sorting it out myself. All right, we're gonna give that a quick mix together, just to completely combine it. There we go. That's my, all my wet ingredients done, and now I'm going to put my dry ingredients into this. Now, a lot of cookie recipes that I've come across have actually, actually ask you to sift your dry ingredients together and give them a bit of a whisk in a separate bowl. I actually am too lazy to do that, I'll be really honest. I just find that makes extra washing up, and I can't be doing with extra washing up. So I just do it all in one, because I find that that's the best way to bake and the easiest way for me. Of course, if you wanted to do it as two separate bowls, you absolutely can do, but that's just my preference. Now to that, I'm gonna put a sieve over the top of my bowl. I'm going to put in my flour. This is plain flour that I'm using. Some salt, some corn flour. I find corn flour makes my cookies stay really soft and chewy and lovely. And because of the pumpkin, they will be really lovely and moist too, so these are gonna be beautiful cookies. As well as my corn flour and salt, I'm going to add in some bicarbonate of soda and some baking powder. Don't forget, if you like this video, if you're enjoying watching my videos, to like the video and to subscribe so you always get notifications of when I release new videos. And as I am putting all these in, don't forget too that I will put a link below this video so you can find all the exact quantities of ingredients if you wanted to make this yourself. So that is my flour done. Now I'm going to do a second batch of serving for my spices. This is cinnamon. So you, depending on how much cinnamon you like, you can put as much as two teaspoons in. I put one and a half teaspoons in, but you can go down to one if you don't want it too cinnamony. This is ginger, some ground cloves, allspice. Now make sure when you use allspice, it's the allspice from the berries, not the mixture of lots of different spices together. You want to get allspice specifically. And I'm going to do, there's nothing like fresh nutmeg. I'm going to grate a bit of fresh nutmeg in. You can obviously use pre-grated when you buy it, but I just find the flavor that you get from grating it fresh is so much nicer. So I'm just going to give it a few grates, probably about a quarter of a teaspoon's worth. There we go. And that's my, cin my cinnamon. Try that again, that was my nutmeg. Sift all that in, and then we're going to mix everything together. Right, time to mix. So you can, of course, do this by hand or in a stand mixer if you've got one or with a handheld exactly as I'm doing. And the nice thing about this cookie recipe actually is that I don't fridge it. Normally with my cookies, I tend to fridge them for an hour or two before I bake them. But with these ones, they go straight on my baking tray, straight in my cookie sheet and straight in the oven. So there's no waiting around if you're impatient for cookies. And there we have it. There is my cookie dough all done. And now I have my cookie sheet my baking tray ready here. I've just lined it with some parchment paper 
and I have my trusty ice cream scoop. This is probably um, a couple of inches across um, and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab a scoopful and I'm going to pop it on my baking sheet. Now these cookies don't spread out as much as some of my other cookies do so you can put them a little bit closer but I would still leave enough room for spreading. And whilst I've been making my cookie dough, my oven has been preheating. It's been preheating at 180 or 350 Fahrenheit. And I'm just going to pop these in and they will take about 8 to 10 minutes to bake. And I will see you on the other side with freshly baked pumpkin cookies. My cookies are out of the oven. They smell so good. Now you can eat them just as they are. They are beautiful or you can do a little bit of a glaze. I'm going to leave them completely plain because I think they are beautiful just as they are. But if you want to make a glaze, you could just mix some icing sugar with a bit of milk and some vanilla and then just drizzle it over the top or whip up a buttercream type thing if you want, whatever you want. But I'm going to crack into one of these beauties. Now these are still warm, but they smell so good. I can't wait. So they will firm up a little bit. When you first pull them out of the oven, they will be quite soft. You'll be able to squidge them in. This one's still slightly warm, but it should remain chewy even after it has cooled down. You can see it's quite dense and cakey in the middle, but they are absolutely beautiful and they are completely eggless. So they do need to be eaten quite quickly because of the fresh pumpkin in. These will only last two, three, four days at the most before they start to get spoiled quicker, but they will be gone within a day. They disappear when I bake them in our home. And there you have it, there are the cookies. Don't forget, if you have enjoyed this video, to like it and do subscribe so you can find more of my videos as I release them. Thanks for joining me today, friends. I'll see you next time. Happy baking.